Yesterday, after I took all of the cardboard off, I used a scraper to scrape the surface to get it as rough as I could get it. And then I put another layer or two of fiberglass cloth saturated in West System Epoxy. There were some areas where there were little dips and so I filled those areas with a little extra cloth, uh, just trying to get it as smooth as possible. Of course, it's still really rough. We're gonna have to sand that down. I'm gonna cut out this little extruding lip there. And also on the other side, I've got the same deal. I'm gonna chisel all that out with chisel and hammer. Here's the brace that I made out of fiberglass and I'm not done with all of the sanding that I'll need to do to make it super smooth, but I'm just gonna fit it on the stern to see how well it mates. And hopefully I'm not gonna drop it in the water while I'm doing it. Okay, so that goes right here. Yeah, the mold that I made got a little warped out of shape before we made this brace so i'm gonna have to do some grinding to get a better fit i think a bit more grinding is in order So I just cut up some additional layers of fiberglass cloth uh, because the ends here were just, they just weren't high enough. And so I'm gonna epoxy some more cloth onto the ends just to raise it up just the right amount, which I've marked with a piece of cardboard um, so that I can get um, a better matching mate to the hull. This is taking uh, a lot more time because that initial mold shape that I make, made didn't keep its shape and uh, that just messed up this whole thing. So, but we're gonna deal with it. I've just grinded so much out trying to get it to match the shape, but it's not working out. So I'm gonna put some more cloth there. It's the next day and the epoxy has cured. Now I'm gonna chip off some parts with a chisel. Get back to grinding. I think that's much better the gap small enough so that the epoxy that I put in there will, will do quite nicely. All right, 
What's next? Now I have to build some sort of support to keep this in place. I've got some wood. That'll rest right there. Exactly right there, perfect. Stay. Lots of pressure. Good. You can see that I've got the wood on the bottom there for the thing to sit on. And then I've got this piece of wood here that's tensioned with this string. Uh, right here that's compressed and it's got the axis here and it's pushing the mount towards the boat so we've got some real compression going on next i'm going to mark uh, ex the exact placement of where this is going to go on the stern So that's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna use my Dremel tool to cut this out down to the glass itself so that we'll have fiberglass on fiberglass with epoxy. It should be super, super strong. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Okay, now that we've got that grinded out, whew, we'll have good epoxy adhesion and uh, yeah, it'll fit right, right there. All right. It's critical that the part of the mount that the hydrovane bolts onto be completely flat. To make ours flat, I decided to put on more thickened epoxy to fill the gaps and to press it onto a flat surface while curing. This is much flatter. So when we do mount this on it, it'll have a perfectly flat surface for it to be bolted onto. Oh, I hate grinding, sanding, fiberglass. It gets into your skin, it itches, and it's just not fun. Don't like it. Now that's all roughened up so that it will stick to the epoxy that we're going to put on the stern. 
We got some mineral spirits here in the UK. They call it white spirit. Resting a little lower. <clears throat> right there, that's perfect. All right, I hope you get. And this is where my GoPro overheated and stopped recording. Yesterday, just as I was attaching the mount onto the stern, the GoPro overheated and stopped recording. Unfortunately, because I was working with two-part epoxy, which was curing very quickly, I didn't have time to fix the GoPro, so I'm sorry for that. But I am very happy to show you that we pull it off. It is now epoxied to the hull itself. It is now a part of the boat. I'm just going to remove this wood. There it is. The mount for the upper bracket of the hydro vane. And because it's made of fiberglass, and because it's epoxied to the hull itself, it is now plenty strong. It supports my whole weight, no problem. I'm very pleased. The next step will be to take the hydrovane mount and attach it on to that by drilling two big holes through the mount into the hull into the stern and then through bolting it on there and so we're going to save that and the rest of this insulation for next time if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and i look forward to showing you the rest of this insulation in the next video